So I woke up in the middle of the night with an awful Charlie horse. I haven't had that in years. I mean, oh my gosh, my cat, it's still like killing me. Oh my gosh. I don't know if it was from all the walking I did yesterday or maybe I was just dehydrated, but I have not felt a Charlie horse in a really long time. Woo, so I'm still working through that. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and warm it up. We're gonna bring those feet nice and wide. We're gonna bend our knees. Inhale, big reach up and exhale down. So let's do this a couple of times. This is lift, low impact training. We're gonna be doing some hit cardio today as well as some strength and a little bit of balance. Inhale, lift up and exhale. This is a joint friendly workout. So low to no impact. Two more, nice big inhale and exhale. One more, inhale, big reach up and exhale down. Let's do arm circles, so just one at a time. Adding a little bit of rotation, just watching your knees here, opening up through that chest and upper body and shoulders as well. So we'll do two more on each side. Last set here, big circle, big circle, perfect. Now let's just crisscross those arms in front of us, shaking it out. My arms and triceps are sore from yesterday. I don't know if uh, Linda and Blair, I think you all took my class yesterday. I hope you're sore too. <clears throat> Shake it out. All right, let's do a full body roll here. So we're gonna start with our shoulders. Keep those feet nice and wide. You roll them back as you inhale, you're gonna bend the knees. Arch the back slightly and then exhale, we're gonna roll it up to the top. Let's do it two more times. Nice big inhale, bend those knees. Exhale, roll it up. One more, we're gonna stay nice and low on this last one. Maybe walk those feet out a little wider. You're gonna drop that right shoulder in the middle for a gentle twist. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, drop your left shoulder. Just gently pressing against those knees and then roll it back up to the top. Okay, let's come down to the floor. We're gonna go from a downward facing dog to a plank. So come on down with me. We're gonna warm up our back and upper body. So you're gonna shift your weight from down dog, which is making an upside down V with your body into a plank. So for 30 seconds, go from down dog to plank at your own pace here for 30 seconds. So just a nice stretch to warm up. Inhale, find your plank, exhale down dog. So nice and easy, really lifting those hips up in that down dog and then stacking your shoulders on top of your wrists for that plank. Keeping the core nice and strong here. You could also just do this in a tabletop if you'd like a little extra support. You can press back and forward. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna be in that tabletop. Opposite arm and leg reach, 30 seconds. Extend that right arm and left leg. Inhale, exhale back to the center and switch. Left arm, right leg. So opposite arm and leg, we're warming up the core. Just inhale, reach, exhale down, alternating sides. We want to keep our shoulders away from our ears. Now I want you to imagine you're balancing a glass of water on your back or coffee or tea, whatever you prefer. That's how flat your back should be, how strong your core should feel. Warming it up here with a little bit of balance. One more on each side. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Perfect. Let's bring those knees wide, quick child's pose before we come up into a little cardio. So just sit back into your heels here. Get a nice stretch in that back. Time to wake up the body. All right, let's roll it up to standing nice and slow. Roll it on up, shake it out. Okay, so two little cardio movements, and then we're gonna get started. So 30 seconds, we're gonna do our jumping jacks. Arms up, tapping out. Go ahead and start with that. 30 seconds. This is your low impact version. No jump here. But I want you to bring your arms all the way up for me. All the way up and down. Keeping them pretty straight here. 30 seconds, <clears throat> and then we'll go into some standing 
knee lifts to warm her core a little bit more. Keep it up. We have 10 more seconds here. One more exercise and then we're gonna get going. Arms up. Keep moving for four, three, two, and one. Okay, then once you bring your hands together like this, I'm just gonna reach and tap. You're gonna alternate those knee lifts. 30 seconds, here we go. So as you exhale, you're bringing that knee to your chest. You're tapping that knee with your hands. So it's a crunch, warming up the core. Keep moving from the side, keeping your back nice and flat. Keep it up. Lift the knee, lift the knee. I want you to use your core to bring your knees up, okay? Use those core muscles. We've got four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Roll the shoulders, shake it out. Stretch out anything else that you need to, and we're gonna get started. So for circuit one, we've got three exercises that we're gonna do body weight first, and they're a little bit of cardio and strength combo, and then we're gonna go into a sort of a Tabata, a cardio round, okay? That's gonna get the heart rate up. First movement are side to side squats here. So you're just stepping from side to side. And if you wanna make this a little more cardio, you can reach your arms up. Maybe even add a little hop. Low impact. So let's start with that one. We're gonna go for 45 seconds, all right? Here we go, starting in three, two, and one. Side to side. So I'm gonna reach my arms up as my feet come together in the center. Lift and lower. So just body weight. This is gonna keep our heart rate up, reaching those arms up and lower. I want you to get as low as you can in your squat. So you choose your speed and your intensity here. If you want it to be a little bit more intense, you can add a hop and maybe go a little faster. Up to you. Keep moving from the side. <clears throat> Couple more seconds. Remember, you're pushing back into those hips. You've got three, two, one. Okay, we have 15 seconds. Exercise number two is gonna be similar to our warm up, but hands behind your ears. Two crunches, opposite elbow to knee. So we go one, two, switch sides. One, two. Okay, so we're working that balance. 45 seconds, hands behind the ears. Let's go. One, two, switch sides. One, Two. So once we keep your chest up, you're bringing that elbow to meet your knee. Two on each side. And it's that opposite elbow to knee. Let's go. Keep it moving. So you're pulling those abs in. Keep going, keep going. Let me see it. Once you keep your chest up. So you're trying to bring your elbow to your knee. So crunching a little bit more. Yes, good, keep it up. Perfect, try to reach that knee to your elbow. Good, Bill. There we go, Linda. Yep, you got three, two, 15 seconds, stop. Okay, last one in this series, a little more balance. We're gonna step back with our right leg. Step back, reach the floor. Opposite leg comes up for a kick. So again, step back right. Kick left. I'll do it one more time from the side. Step back, kick. All right? So one leg steps back, the other does your front kick. 45 seconds. We'll switch sides halfway. Ready, set. Right leg back first. Let's go. Step back, kick. So I'm just sort of punching my arm down. Your hands can do whatever they want. Punch. That just sort of helps me feel like I'm getting lower, right? Now when you do your front kick, doesn't matter how high or low it is, I wanna see the bottom of your foot, keep going. So I'm gonna go punch, kick, punch, kick, one more on the side, and switch. Now it's left goes back, punch right, punch down, kick, punch, kick. I want you to keep your chest up the whole time, even when you're punching. Your hips drop, not your chest. Keep it up. 
it's punch and kick, punch and kick. Keep moving, let me see a couple more. You can get as low as you want when you punch down. Perfect, keep your hands off your legs, down. And stop, 15 seconds. Okay, so we're gonna go through this three, two more times, okay? From the top, our squats, up and over, starting in three, two, let's go. 45 seconds, come on. Up and over, up and over. Arms reach, and then you pull. I want you to think of a lat pull down here where those elbows slide in, right? Up and over, up and over. Come on, hey Katie. You can add a little hop. If you want a little more intensity, it's still low impact. Keep it up, let's go. Looking good. Drop those hips back. You have less than 15. All good, keep it up. Couple more seconds. Side to side squats, you've got four. Three, two, and stop. 15 seconds of active recovery. Good march in place. Little jog. Second one, hand behind those ears. Crisscross crunch, right? Two on each side. Starting in three. Two, let's go. One, and two, other side. One, and two, crunch. So your elbow and your knee, your knee, meet in the middle, right? Trying to bring that elbow to your knee. Let's go, let's go. Nice, good Katie. Yep, two on each side. Good, Regina. I see Dolly working. Looking good, everyone. Nice, Bill. Maybe can you pick up the speed here? Come on. Keep that chest up. One and two. Keep moving. Keep moving. You have less than 10 seconds. And then we do active recovery. Three, two, one. Active recovery, you can just do sort of a boxing stance, march in place. Our third and final one is tap down from kick, okay? You can make it a full lunge if you want a little more intensity. Ready, set, let's go, right leg back. So I punch, tap, and then kick with the opposite leg. Down, kick. So your kick is low, medium, high, up to you. But I want you to really push through that heel as you kick. So it's not just, just kind of there to be there, right? So push and kick with intention. Yes, Linda. Sort of use your body into that, right? And switch sides. Let's go. So now you're stepping back, left leg. If you want a little more intensity, get a little lower as you punch. Think of more of like a lunge step back, right? Keep it up, let me see the bottoms of those feet. Let's go, let's go. Perfect, keep it up. A little faster, Bill, you got it. You don't have to go all the way down. Let's go. Pick up that speed, three, two, one. Active recovery. Okay, so final round, we're gonna make it a little bit longer and we won't have any active recovery. So exercise one, we are back to our side to side squats in three, two, Let's go. This is it. So your final round, it's gonna be five, zero, 50 seconds. We're gonna go right into that next exercise. So really challenging that cardio endurance. I want you to get a little lower in your squat. You choose that speed. I'll let you know when we have 10 seconds left. So if you wanna bump up that speed, you can. Remember, elbows pulling in as your chest stays up. Keep it up. Get nice and low. Perfect. Hands away from your legs. Hands aren't on your legs, they're right here, elbows in. Last 10 seconds, maybe a little faster. Keep your chest up. Can you get a little lower? Four, three, two, one. Standing twist, hands behind the ears, let's go. One, two, one, two, one, two. We go right into it. Let's go. It's that opposite elbow. Timmy, come on. And twist. 
So we're wrapping around, a little bit of a twist, working those obliques. Excellent, looking good, everyone. Get Regina, yep. Nice flare, keep it up. Keep those shoulders away from your ears, right? Keep moving, keep moving. And then we have our final exercise. And then we have the cardio Tabata, which I did in class yesterday too. Come on. So our work will be only 20 seconds. So you can really increase that intensity. You got three, two, one. Last one, step back, right leg, and punch. I'm sorry, punch down and kick. Let's go. Punch down and kick. Punch, kick. Remember, pressing through that heel. Down, kick. Let me see it, let me see it. Right leg back, kicking with your left. Keep it up, keep it up. So where you can slow this down, you can speed it up. Two more on the side. Last one. Okay, switch sides, let's go. Step back, left, kick right. So we'll get a little bit of breather after this. Keep moving. Remember, listen to your body. If you're feeling really good, get a little bit lower, maybe go a little faster. But it's your workout, right? So do what feels right for you. Maybe a little extra challenge if you're feeling good. Three, two, one. Okay, quick sip of water, two exercises. Then we're gonna go back to back, okay? So our first one is a side shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, reach, okay? Shuffle, shuffle, reach. We're lifting up under the balls of our feet. There's no actual jump. And then we're gonna do mountain climbers. So you can do them elevated on a bench or against the wall or down here on the floor, in and out, right? Back is flat. You can go slow or fast. All right, we're only doing 20 seconds, 10 seconds off, okay? Let's start with our side shuffle. Three times through. Here we go in three, two, let's go. Shuffle, reach. So this is only 20 seconds. You can keep it nice and easy here. You can go slow with me, or you can pick up your speed. Maybe get a little bit lower. And work those legs a little more. Three, two, one. 10 seconds. Get ready for those mountain climbers. Fast or slow. You want a little more cardio? Pick up the speed. Nice flat back. Ready, set. Let's go. Knees to chest. So I'm going to do mine slow just to start. Bring your knee all the way to your chest. As you exhale, bring it in. Come on. Couple more seconds. Keep moving, keep moving. You've got four, back is flat. Three, two, and one, stand up. All right, so side shuffle, let's do it again. I know the work is, the rest is much shorter than the work. Ready, set, side shuffle, go. Shuffle, shuffle, reach. So we have to do each one two more times. And then we're gonna move on to our circuit with weights. Keep it up. Remember, I'm keeping it low. You can make it a little bit harder, a little more intense if you'd like. And stop, 10 seconds. Mountain climbers. So a little trick, doing them against the wall. So just a little bit easier on your neck and your shoulders. Ready, set, let's do it. Exhale, knees to chest. So you can do them against the wall, on the floor. Keep it up, keep it up. And then we have to do this one more round. Couple more seconds, go, go, go. Nice, perfect. Hips are right in line with those shoulders. Three, two, stand up. Perfect. And then up and down is also gonna keep those heart rates up. Side shuffle, let's go. Last time. Last time, then we'll get a breather, come on. So what can you do for 20 seconds? It's a short amount of time. So I'm gonna ask you to pick up that speed if you're feeling good this morning. If not, just keep moving, right? All right, 10 seconds. Mountain climbers one more time, okay? Come on down or find that elevated bench or wall. Three, two, let's go. Come on. 
In and out. Can you keep your back flat? Come on. Lift that head up. Make sure you don't drop the neck. Go, go, go. Five seconds left. Then we got a breather. Push, push, push. Three, two, and one. Take your time coming on up and shake it out. Woo! All right. Thumbs up. We did okay. We're good. That was main cardio focus. Okay. So it was one of the harder circuits. Our next one, we're going to be using light weights. All right. So I have three and five pounds. Maybe eight is light for you. Again, your workout, so whatever works for you. I'm gonna show you what we're doing with them. And then what weight I'd recommend. Okay, so our first one is an overhead press with the weights, shoulders. So I'd recommend something light or moderate. Okay, so we're gonna add a deadlift, all right? We're gonna work our glutes and hamstrings. So single leg. Well, we'll start here, regular deadlift with feet under those hips. So here's your deadlift. It's a hip hinge. You push your hips back. We curl and go into an overhead press. So hip hinge. You just push your hips back behind you and press. If you're a little more advanced, you could try single leg and then overhead press. So I'll start with the regular one. So go ahead and grab those light moderate weights. This is for 45 seconds. Okay. We'll call it hip hinge into overhead press. So I really want you to push those hips back. This one's a little tricky for form. Here we go in three, two, let's go. So hip hinge, you push your hips back, nice flat back. When you come up, you go into a curl and overhead press. And just repeat. So I want you to really push back into your heels as you go into that hip hinge. Your knees are slightly bent. If you're doing single leg, you're gonna go ahead and switch sides. So I'm sticking to just the regular version. It's inhale, press those hips back, exhale, lift. Tight butt around that waist. We got a couple more seconds. Next round, I'll come check out your form. Remember flat back, just like we did in that tabletop. Three, two, and one. Perfect. Okay, 15 seconds. Our next one, you can keep these weights. Sumo squat. So open up those hips. You might want something a little bit lighter. We're going to squat and curl. And then we're going to bring arms overhead. So we're going to make the letter O. Squat and curl, or I call these sunshines. So circling out the shape of the sun. Shoulder exercise, all right? 45 seconds. I'm going to grab a little bit lighter. Starting in three, two, let's go. Squat and curl at the same time. Knees out to the side, come back up. Create that circle shape. Arms are pretty straight right there. Curl as you do your sumo squat and then overhead. So a couple of different things going on here. In your sumo, open up from those hips and then make sure those knees are right on top of your toes. Back is flat. So this can be light or moderate. You choose that weight. Maybe you're using soup cans or water bottles, whatever you have, right? Keep going, a couple more seconds. And then we go into our last one, which will be on the floor. Three, two, one, perfect. Come on down. So that tabletop we did for our warm up. same thing. You're gonna have that left leg extended, right arm is gonna be doing an overhead press pull down movement. So I keep that leg extended and I do almost like a pull down. That's your movement in your tabletop. So let's start with that light weight in our right hand. Here we go. In three, two, strong core. Let's go. Left leg stays up, right arm. Inhale, overhead, exhale, pull. So just that right arm. Now, if you're feeling your low back, you can just bring that knee back down. Keep on, reach and pull. You can also do this in a kneeling position, the way that I'm doing it here. Take off tension from your wrists to your shoulders. Okay, Felix, I see you. He's working. All right, let's make sure our hips are not dropping. Keep it up. Tuck those hips under slightly. You should feel your glutes working here because it's a little bit of balance. 
as well as that arm. Keep going, we'll switch for that next round. Three, two, one. All right, let's stand up and we're gonna do this again. So first exercise, hip hinge, overhead press. Feet are running with those hips. We start in three, tuck those hips under, two and one. We lower, see how flat my back is, and then curl and press. I'm just gonna show from the side. Again, if you're advanced, you could try single leg. Just make sure you're not falling forward. So now I'm trying single leg. I'm kicking that heel up. And this is really gonna increase the intensity of your glutes and hamstrings. Switch sides if you're doing single leg. Hip hinge, overhead press. Push into the back of those heels. Keep it up, let me see it. How's everyone doing, Felix? He's watching for me. You got two instructors here. Keep it up. Remember, a nice flat back. Perfect. Good, Linda. Perfect, Katie. Push those hips back so you feel your glutes and hamstrings. Beautiful. We got three, two, and one. Excellent. Okay, next one. Sumo squat. Curl with the sunshine. Ready, set, let's go. So I'm going to grab my heavier weights. When you're creating that sunshine shape, that circle, I want you to be able to see your weights at the corners of your eyes. If you can't, that means your arms are too far back. So you wanna be able to see them at the corners of your eyes, okay? Curl as you lower into your squat and then make that sunshine, that circular shape with your arms. So working the shoulders. Make sure to keep breathing, core is nice and tight. Couple more seconds. Then we come back to that tabletop. You got four, three, two, filling up with this weight. One, okay, come on down, back to that light weight. Now we just switch sides. Weights in your left hand. Right leg is extended, starting in three, two, let's go. Just take a look at my screen if you're not sure. Opposite leg is extended. And I do my pull down movement with my left arm. I want you to really pull that elbow in to your side. Let me check it out. Remember, nice flat back. How are they doing, Felix? Perfect. Yep, good, Linda. Keep that neck nice and long. Reach and pull. Try to keep that opposite leg extended. Point through those toes. Looking good, everyone. Couple more seconds. I am sweating. Couple more seconds. Can you get your back a little bit flatter? Tuck those hips under three, two, one. Stand up, bottom around, here we go. So a little bit longer. We're gonna go right into, go from right one exercise to the next. So hip hinge, overhead press, let's go. I'm gonna show you from the front, hip hinge, press. Hip hinge, so these can be heavier. Press, hip hinge. If you're doing single leg, I'll let you know when to switch. I'll show single leg here. Imagine your body's like a chopstick. So you gotta stay nice and straight, right? If you're doing single leg. Okay, you can switch sides. If you're doing single leg, keep it up. Drive that heel straight up to the ceiling. Knees are slightly bent here. Nice flat back. Keep moving, let's see it. Couple more seconds, nice flat back, hip hinge. Yes, curl to press. Should feel your glutes and hamstrings here. Perfect, three, two, and one. Sumo squat curl, Let it, let's go. Sumo squat curl, reach overhead, let's go. Right into it. So maybe try something a little bit heavier to challenge yourself. Keep that <clears throat> curl, press, lift. So we've got our Tabatas after this. Just two rounds for each exercise. Come on. And then our final circuit with the towel. Keep it up. Couple more seconds. Nice and strong. Starting to feel it, get a little lower. Get a little lower in that squat. Less than 10 seconds, let's see it. Little lower in that squat. Perfect, Katie. Nice straight arms. Give Regina, yep. 
Nice flare. We've got three, two, one. Come on down. So for this one, we're just going to switch halfway. Grab that weight in your right hand. Left leg extended. Three, two, single arm pull down. Let's go. So we do about 30 seconds on each side. Inhale and exhale. Keep that left leg extended. Abs nice and strong. Come on. Reach and pull. Woo, feeling my back. Keep it up. You should feel those posture muscles working. We got a couple more seconds on this side. Inhale and exhale. You got it. Then a little cardio Tabata with our weights. Good, Katie. Go ahead and switch arms, switch legs. Tuck those hips under. Keep it up. If you're feeling your neck at all, go ahead and just come to a kneeling position and just face the screen with me. Keep it up. Still do that same pull down motion. Really pull those elbows into your side. A couple more seconds, and we're gonna grab our light weights. This time we're gonna go right into our Tabata. So no rest, you've got four, three, two, and one. All right, come on up. Just twice through, okay? We're gonna come into that sumo, light weights. We're gonna do some punches. So punch, punch, little hop. So as I punch, I'm twisting to the diagonal. All right, that's for 20 seconds. And then I'll tell you our next one when we go into our 10 seconds of rest. Starting three, two, let's go. Sumo, punch, punch, little hop. So I barely leave the floor in the hop. You can get into a nice low sumo and it's diagonal. So only 20 seconds, come on. Go, go. You can also take out the hop if you want it and just do your cross punches. Four, three, two, one. Next one, side raise with the tap. Almost like those jumping jacks. Ready, set, let's go. This is why I want light weights. Side raise and just a tap with it. Arms don't come any higher than your shoulders. Tap, tap and lift, tap and lift. Woo, fill in those arms. Bring them together at the bottom right here and then lift. We've got four, three, two, one, 10 seconds. <clears throat> Back to those punches. Last time through, maybe a little heavier if you want, a little more intensity. Let's go. Punch, punch, little hop. Last time. <clears throat> so we're not going for three. So make it count here, okay? Last time. Keep it. Watch those knees. You're twisting from your waist. Yes, perfect. Yes, good job. You got it. We got three. Two, one, 10 seconds. Get ready for those taps and that lat raise in three, two, let's go. So I want light, a lot of reps. I want you to pick up that speed. Tap and lift, tap and lift. Hands come together here and then we go out to the side. Come on, let's go. Feel those arms and shoulders. I'm feeling my work, let's go. We'll get a quick breather after this. You've got four, three, two, and one. Okay, so we're gonna save a little energy for our last circuit, and that's gonna be with our towel. All right, so make sure you have your towel, grab some water. You are doing awesome. So, last circuit we're going through twice, twice through, so a little shorter, so cardio at the end. Let's get right into it. Your first movement, it's a balance. So, we'll switch sides for round two. We've done this one before, right leg out, arms overhead. Make sure you can see me in the frame. It's a crunch with the leg lift. So we're really getting those obliques and outer and inner thighs. Let me come to a seated torso twist with our towel. So let's start with that standing one first. 40 seconds, okay? Grab that towel, you can also use a weight. In three, right leg out, two, Let's go. Arms overhead, right leg out. Lift and crunch. Lift and crunch. So not only does your leg lift, but your arms move. And also you're trying to bring your rib cage to your hips. So you're really gonna feel that side body. Ooh, it's a lot of balance, I know. So you could use the wall, right? Standing leg is slightly bent. Oh my goodness, falling over. 
That's okay. Keep it up. We'll go right down to the floor. Woo! When we're done with this, keep moving. Feel my hips working and that core. We've got four, three, two, one. Come on down. So same side torso twist. You're gonna twist to the right and just the right. Arms straight up. Tuck those hips under. Arms stay straight, just to the right. Three, two, chest up. Let's go. Just to the right, center. Just to the right, center. Now the key here is keeping your arms straight. It's not like a Russian twist where you bend your elbows. Arms are straight, you're gonna feel your abs more that way. You want it harder? Feet off the floor. Come on, just to the right. Keep your shoulders down, chest up. Arms are straight. You can pull against or pull that, try to pull that towel apart. So a little bit of tension, which is why we're using the towel rather than a weight. Weighing this down, keep going. We're gonna go around to that next exercise. It's gonna be a bridge and pull over. Shoulders down, three, two, one. All right, lay back, arms overhead. Again, pulling apart on that towel. You're lift up into a bridge as your arms come overhead. Watch one more time. Arms overhead, hips down, inhale, exhale, bridge and lift. Here we go, 45 sec 40 seconds, let's go. So bridge, pressing those feet into the floor. Lifting your hips as your arms come overhead. There's also a nice stretch for the shoulders. If you want it harder, single leg bridge. And the next round, we'll do the other leg. So I have my right leg lifted. So again, it's a little harder for those hamstrings and glutes. Listen to your body. Can be a regular bridge or that single leg. How high can you lift your hips? Keep going. We have one more round. We got a couple more seconds. Bridge and pull over. You got four. Lift a little higher. Three, two, and stand up. And other side. We're back to that first exercise. But now with our left leg extended, arms up. We start in three. Tuck those hips under. Two, and one. Side crunch. Leg lift. Shoulders down. So you can pull against that towel. Get a little bit of resistance here. But also a little bit of a stretch and it keeps you in that proper form. Whereas if you're holding weights, you know, they might fall down. So use that towel, pull against it. Keep going. Remember, rib cage to your hip. It's a crunch. Almost like what you would do in a side plank, but a little harder because you're balancing. Once you tuck those hips under a little bit, protect that low back. You've got three, two, torso twist. Come on down. We're twisting to the left. So same thing here. Tuck those hips under. Chest up, shoulders down. Let's go. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. So the further back you are, the more challenging this is. Maybe if you come off the floor, that's even harder. Inhale, exhale, twist. Remember, we're staying to that left side or whichever side you didn't do last time. Twist. Arms are straight, let me see it. Chest up, Felix, are you watching everyone? Where did he go? Looking good. So keep that chin up. Linda, lower those arms just a little bit, chest up. Your arms are about shoulder height, everyone. Keep it up. Can't see anyone else, but I know you're working hard. Keep it up, couple more seconds. Good, three, two, swing around, pull over. So if you were doing single leg, you will do the other side, okay? Here we go, arms overhead, hips down. Inhale and exhale, let's start. You lift into your bridge, arms come overhead and repeat. If you're not sure, take a look at my screen. Join me when you're ready. If you're doing single leg, other leg is extended. Other side. And again, that makes it a lot harder, but really great exercise for those glutes, especially if you sit all day. Oof, really good for lower back as well. So nice and slow, keep it up. This is our last one. We end with two cardio. 
We're just gonna go all out with it. Keep it up. Knees are right on top of those toes in your bridge. Try to bring those arms all the way overhead, touch the floor behind you. Great shoulder stretch. Couple more seconds. Three, two, and one. Stand up. Okay, so our last minute of class, we've got 30 seconds if I call these rainbows. Don't worry, Bill, not rainbow planks. But you're making the rainbow shape with your arms. Again, they stay straight. That's just gonna work the core. You just lift your knees up. And then we're gonna do a row, optional, down the floor and step out to a plank. You can also just do the rows. 30 seconds, we start with those rainbows. Final minute of class and then we're done. Here we go, rainbows for the first 30. Three, two, arms straight, let's go. Making a rainbow shape with your arms. Lifting up your knees, one at a time. So if I go to the right, my right knee lifts. From the side, keep it up. Maybe you pick up your speed. Arms stay straight though. So we're not bending our elbows. Lift those knees a little higher. Couple more seconds. And then our rows into plank. Plank is optional. All right, go into those rows, let's go. So I do a high row, hands to the floor, low impact, so I step it out. And then just repeat. Low impact, just do your rows with me. Or not low impact, but if you don't wanna to go to the floor, just follow what I'm doing. I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together, come on. That towel comes to your chest as you squeeze. Maybe you're stepping out into that plank. Maybe you're hopping out to that plank. 10 seconds, come on. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. This is it, this is it. Keep those hips low if you're stepping out. You got three, two, one, done. Done, done. Woo! Great job, everyone. Virtual high five. And we're gonna cool down and stretch. Awesome, grab some water. Hope you are feeling a little bit better. And hopefully your body's feeling good, right? With the low impact, no impact movements, that's the goal. We want to get a good workout, cardio and strength, but we don't want to feel bad and achy, right? All right, let's stretch. Shoulder rolls, I have just a couple minutes here. Shoulder rolls, feet wide. Inhale, exhale, two more. Last one. Great. We're gonna reach across the body, one arm at a time. Reach it across, reach it across. Nice and slow, moving your hips with it. We do one more on each side. Reach, last one. Perfect. Let's interlace those fingers. You're gonna push out and away towards me. Upper back stretch, so bring your belly button in towards your spine. Tuck your chin. Upper back stretch, let down. And then opposite stretch, hands come behind you. Maybe you interlace them, maybe not. You squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift your chest, tilt your head back, lift your chin. And then slowly release, shake it out. Great, let's come back to this tabletop that we did a few exercises in today for a uh, cat cat. Inhale, drop belly. Lift the chest, sink into the mat. Exhale, lift away from the mat. Tuck your chin, round the spine. Let's do it again, inhale. And exhale. One more time, so you're sinking into the mat. In your inhale, exhale, you're lifting away from the mat. Knees wide, feet together, child's pose. Great low back stretch. Walk those hands to the top of your mat, or floor, or towel. Relax your head. Slowly walk those hands up. Okay, we're gonna lower down into our chest and our belly for a quad stretch. You may do this standing if you prefer. We're gonna come all the way down. We'll do that right side first. Turn your head, grab your right foot. You could reach for your pant leg or use a strap or do this with a chair. So just hold this here, press that thigh into the mat. Turning your head, hold that there. So if you have a chair or a bench, 
Go ahead and switch sides. You can just place that foot like I'm doing now on that bench or on your chair if your quads are really tight and maybe you can't quite reach for your foot. So we're doing the other side. One more breath on that left side. Oh, sorry, I had my email turned on. <laughs> All right, go ahead and release and bring those feet a little wider than your hips, hands under your shoulders for baby cobra. Inhale, lift up and exhale lower one more time. Inhale, shoulders away from those ears. Exhale, let's tuck those toes and find a downward facing dog. Just like that warm up, pedaling out your heels, we're almost done. Relax your head. Knees down. All right, let's go ahead and roll it up nice and slow. Head comes up last. And at the top, we're just gonna shake those arms out in front of us. And then all together, we're gonna inhale, reach those arms up, good deep breath. Exhale, shake it out one more time. Big inhale and exhale, bend those knees, shake it all out. Woo, all right. Great job, everyone. Thanks so much for coming. Have a wonderful Tuesday. How are we doing?